Hi guys, welcome to Piano Well, this is Emma. Let's talk today about the power of imagination and manifestation. Wow, for those of you who might be quite skeptical about this, I just want to tell that this video is worth to watch because uh, you might realize better what you really want and um, where you want to be, what is your dream life and uh, how to actually break down and eliminate some kind of blockages and resistance on the way of your dream life. <laughs> so let's make it straight why some pianists become su successful and famous in a way that never happened to you. <laughs> as much as I love you, but you really have to know this. This is what you want and this is where your energy, where your thoughts and most importantly your beliefs are. You can never reach what you want unless you tune your energy and make it being aligned with what you want. Uh, you can very easily, you know, recall this moment when you know what is right to do, but you really feel like you are in the place where you don't feel you're ready to do this. You don't like, oh, your body's kind of resisting to this, and you're like, yeah, it's probably good advice, but mm, you see, no, I probably, I probably will, will hang out where I'm, where I'm right now. So it all happens because the energy is absolutely a different place. It doesn't match to what you want. So in order to achieve what you want, you need to transform, to shift, to tune your energy to the circumstances you want to have. And you do this by the power of imagination. <laughs> so basically, you need to have a very clear idea of what would your dream life look like and most importantly, feel like. Um, you may start with just like 15 minutes a day going to some general topics about yourself, about people around you, about things you want to have, about things you want to reach um, and you start feeling like it's already happening to you and then you start living what you feel and this living your dream life, you know, at least in your mind and energy will eventually attract the, the life uh, in your real life, so-called real life. Uh, there is also a very simple thing, but at the same time it's like a secret, you know, of life. You know, every time we want to achieve something, the ultimate outcome of this is emotions. Whether it's, you know, we want to play well, we want to have a good family, a good relationship, financial stability, good career, the outcome of this, we want to feel safe, we want to feel loved, we want to feel peace, we want to feel happiness, we want to feel joyful, we want just, you know, to be free. <laughs> so, by setting up these conditions, we would wait for these conditions to be happy. But the truth of the matter is, is that if our inner energy is not tuned to, the, to those conditions, those conditions will never come to our life. <laughs> we can struggle, we can wait forever, it will never come. Uh, that will only bring some frustration to our beliefs. So uh, we need to be creators. We need to start first with creating the feeling within us that we might get from the circumstances we dream about. So instead of waiting circumstances to get the feeling we want, we want to shift this feeling first to feel it with all our bodies, with all our minds and feelings and forever and then eventually that will attract the matched circumstances, the matched things that are around us uh, to this our inner energy. So this is how it works guys. <laughs> the first step to do is you really need to realize what is your image about yourself, what do you think about yourself, how much you value yourself and Sometimes you might discover you not value yourself so much. <laughs> and that's actually caused by the very painful experience related to piano playing. And there were probably some factors in your life that helped to build that image of yourself. For example, uh, you were taught wrongly in the beginning 
of piano education throughout the whole course of piano playing. Uh, your teachers mistreated you and uh, they didn't give you the knowledge you needed but yet they would demand some good results from you so you always felt that you're not good enough. Uh, then you learn how to struggle in front of the piano practicing like eight hours every single day and getting so little in response. I mean literally all the students get so little it's just like absolutely unbalanced. Um, then you might learn how to feel stressful to, pr to prepare for some like performance and piano playing stuff associated with you with love and joy and peace but only with uh, feelings of fear and panic. Then you would learn how to uh, fear the stage because uh, of some failure because you didn't really feel you played your best no matter what everyone would tell you and later on you might develop some playing related injuries which in fact guys playing related injuries is somewhere in the very very subconscious level your body tells you I don't want to play anymore I don't want to suffer anymore let me go so your body simply refuses to play anymore but yet with your conscious you still pursue this you know uh, dream to finally achieve something, to finally reach something because you put so much effort and desire and time on to, you invested so much to play piano. Then you would start gradually mistreating yourself, you wouldn't feel you're worthy uh, enough and uh, that's funny thing but you might not realize it but you would develop this secret hidden um, envious feeling about successful pianists, you would feel that, well, yeah, but you know, I think I feel music better than them, I could play better than them. <laughs> then afterwards, you know, you were still practicing, but this fire of desire would start gradually fading away within you and you feel like, you know, becoming realistic about your real musical abilities and your future, so-called realistic. Never believe that. <laughs> and eventually you will give up and getting a job you're not really enjoying to do that's much far away from your dream job. <laughs> and um, sometimes you might come back to piano just not to be too frustrated about the time and effort you spent uh, playing this beautiful and marvelous instrument. So if any of this experience sounds familiar for you guys, you have to change your image about yourself now to start attracting different life. And actually, if we talk about those successful pennies, they somehow have this good image about themselves, good image about their future. Might not, they might not um, consciously chose that image, but it was somehow develop and create it with the, within them by much better and positive circumstances that you might have. Um, more encouraged and uh, loving family, um, good teacher uh, who would believe in them, who would uh, develop confidence and love towards piano playing, uh, maybe friends again from outside who would inspire and love what, what they do. Well, for those of us who didn't get lucky in the beginning, there is a great discovery that no matter what happened to you in the past, no matter what you think about yourself, uh, you are not the prisoner of your circumstances. You're not a slave. And you can create the life you want. And basically, this is the ultimate goal of all of us here, guys, to realize that we are creators of our lives. <laughs> We're joyful creators of our life. Yeah. Now, before I go ahead and introduce you this power of imagination, I want to give you three very important tips that will help you to boost uh, the power of manifestation and bring everything you want to your life much faster. So, the first thing you need to always remember is that If you not dare to imagine your life as you want it to be, you can never get the life you want to have. 
You have to be able to imagine it. And when you imagine it, you imagine it freely. With no bandages, with no limits. You are a total creator. Every time you go to your dreaming, to your visualization, you tell yourself, in my dream, everything is possible. Yeah, maybe in this life nothing is possible, but in my dream, everything is possible. So, no doubt, guys. Second thing is when you're dreaming to achieve something, always imagine that you achieve it with easiness. Easy. There is no hard work. There is no uh, effort. Everything comes with downstream easiness of love. Because love itself is easy. It's natural. It's love is it's it's, it's a giving energy itself, giving an abundance if you if you allow it to give you, if you allow yourself to receive, not to strive, not to struggle for something. Um, for example, <laughs> just look around, you know, look at the nature, there are beautiful trees and flowers that are growing with no effort. The clouds on the sky are floating with no hard work. <laughs> So the same thing should be now lies. Just let yourself be happy. Let yourself receive everything you want with easiness. So there should be no resistance in your imagination. And the last thing is that when there is, you know, this waiting period between your imagination creative thing or energy thing and the actual real manifestation of what you dream about in your life, you should wait knowing that it comes. There's a very good, you know, uh, comparison with cooking process. When, no matter what you cook, you cook like some simple dish, you may spend 10 minutes, or some great dish, you may spend 2 hours, you have no doubt that eventually you're gonna eat it. <laughs> so, the same thing should be here. I mean, you're waiting, sometimes you may have a great idea and it might take much more time. But you know that it's in the cooking process, you know? It's, it's on the way and eventually you're gonna get it. So always have this good attitude in the waiting period. So... Now if we're ready, let's finally go ahead. So. I'm going to give you a few topics and which each of these topics you can develop in every day of your life or during weeks or even months uh, until you have a very clear idea and as I said before always remember uh, if you can imagine if you know what you want then there is a good chance you're gonna get what you want if you don't yourself if, if you don't yourself if you don't let yourself to imagine, if you don't dare to imagine, then how on earth are you gonna get it? <laughs> so, yeah guys, what I suggest, 15 minutes every day for 3 months and you feel that it's already happening to you and you, you live it as you feel it and as you live it and as you feel it, you're gonna get it. <laughs> so, let's come back again to ourselves and think about which, what kind of person you want to be. How would it feel like to have a dream you, <laughs> the perfect you? Uh, how would people feel about you? What kind of impact on people's life you would want to make? if you actually want to make <laughs> and what would you bring to this world so let's say that I just want to give you an idea you want to feel peaceful joyful happy appreciating every single moment of your life appreciating everything that you have you want to feel unconditional love towards yourself no matter if you deserve or not you seem you always deserve you, you want to compliment yourself during the day for every little success that you might, you might make during the day. And everything that you want to have will be attracted to you with ease, uh, very smoothly and in abundance. How cool is that? <laughs> now, the people respect you and love you for who you are. They are inspired to help you in each and every way. 
you're receiving their blessing, you're receiving their love every day. Um, and you become like a very good example for them to follow. So that could be one of the images you might want to have about yourself. Because if to think, you probably don't want to have an image of yourself like I'm always stressful, I'm always annoyed by people, I can, I, I try my best, I struggle my best, I, I, but I can still never reach my dreams and my reach and my, my, my dreams are so big but I still not enough, I still need to work harder, I'm so stressful and oh my god, I'm tired. <laughs> That's not the dream image about yourself. <laughs> now the next is very important step is to realize why do you want to be a pianist? What kind of level of pianist you want to be? Or do you actually want to be a pianist? Maybe it's someone else's dream that you just continue pursuing. Maybe you simply... You, maybe you don't even want to be a pianist. You simply just want to be able to enjoy playing piano. Or maybe you want to be a piano teacher. Maybe you just feel so inspired by helping others. So you have to be very clear about the, about this with yourself, guys. So uh, another very important thing is what kind of teacher you want to have. Have you even thought about this? <laughs> what is your dream teacher? I mean, okay, if we want to get a high education, we would automatically choose the teacher with a brand name, with high reputation, who probably takes high position in high universities but sometimes that's not the case guys and there will be time when you really feel like you're not enough everything that you do is not good enough you're not playing as good enough with others and because you trust your teacher so much you will start blaming yourself and uh, the thing is that it all comes from the lack of knowledge and lack of good care from your teacher so to avoid the situation happening, you really have to first build and attract uh, your dream teacher to your life. So again, just give you an example of uh, what kind of teacher you might want to have. The teacher who treats you well, no matter how you play. The teacher who encourages you, who inspires you, who's proud of you, and mo most importantly, who believes in you. And the teacher who would give you all the knowledge that you need to become the pianist you want to be, who answers all your questions, who wouldn't tell you back that when you ask him, you know, I have problems here, problem there, he wouldn't tell you back, you know, you know, you need to practice more, relax, <laughs> watch others pianists, you know, listen to this more, practice more, practice more. You don't want to have this. <laughs> You want to have the teacher with whom you come, you have your problems um, on the way to, to play as you want to have and the teacher helps you by giving the, exactly the knowledge that you need to have and you understand it perfectly, clear, there is no fuzziness, there is no blur in your mind after the lesson, you come back home, you practice, the problem solves, you're free. <laughs> so. Now, if we going ahead and you actually are on the stage where you already have some kind of students, what kind of students you would like to have? Again, an example. You might want to have students who respect you, who appreciate who you are, everything you give them. Um, students that, whom you can inspire so much. Students who could who who have very good musical abilities and at the same time who are very organized and persistent with everything they do and they practice consistently uh, make great results and eventually uh, spread your words and build a good reputation. <laughs> so <laughs> this kind of students you want to have. <laughs> Another topic that you might uh, meditate about is about your health. How do you feel? How your body feels during the day? That you might, you know, spinning around all the day and came home and still feel no tiredness, full of energy. How your hands feeling while playing so powerful and strong that you can manage to make everything, everything you want. Now again, how do you feel about your practicing? <laughs> do we really dream about to, to struggle and suffer in front of the piano and still getting so little in response 
or you feel practicing it's easy it's easy 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 full of joy when you practice maybe one hour maybe two hours a day uh, you can practice any piece you love to play and finish it within a couple of weeks feel absolutely confident about your skills and about your performance again how you would feel on your dream concert confident brilliant joyful eager to play more because you're so inspired because you could make on the stage everything you wanted and even more and uh, you feel this uh, your listener admiration and they're so inspired and they talk only about you and you're just like you know in tornado of this joyful feeling and of love <laughs> now uh, how you would feel when you win the competition when you are on the top when you are on this like mm, uh, on the gala concert and you feel this uh, warmth of these uh, of the of, of the listeners the concert hall is just like full of energy that lifts you up and inspires you so much to create amazingly significant and great piece masterpiece on the stage <laughs> you feel that <laughs> and you know lastly but the most importantly how you attract and what kind of people you attract to your life you want to attract people who loves you who who helps you because they're inspired by you who feels so great to to be engaged with you to to be connected to you uh, they you know make uh, tours for you concerts uh, I know make some take uh, willing to take interviews with you for the leading musical magazines for TV shows uh, oh my goodness what else um, writing books about you making movies about you <laughs> go wild in your imagination <laughs> and eventually how you inspire millions of people who just trust you and follows you and admires you and most importantly what how you would make them feel about their lives about themselves about you as well and how how much joy and love you would bring to their lives that could be quite a story <laughs> all right guys the main thing one more time life, la, life is not about struggling and suffering you really have to understand this life is not about pain life is about easiness is about receiving it's about abundance is about love uh, it's about right people it's about creation create be creator of your life you have all the power uh, I don't teach anything that I have not done before you know me and what I'm saying I'm saying from my experience if you trust me even a little bit just try to do this <laughs> 15 minutes a day for I actually did one hour but you may start with 15 minutes a day for three months don't skip even a day sometimes you will feel very down you feel like too lazy you don't want to do but it's a natural you know wave process so continue doing and you will feel magical changes within you uh, I'm telling you <laughs> um, and eventually ultimately this energy within you will be tune and align to what you want and that will attract the life the dream life uh, you wish to have so I wish you peace I wish you be inspired and try that and be successful in your life thank you very much bye bye